Welcome back to Get Out the House Go Fish. This will be a continuation video from the 23rd annual kayak and stand up paddleboard event that Sandy Point Progressive Sports had on April 27th, 2019. In this video, I will be demoing the Hobie Mirage Tandem Island Kayak. I've never been in one of these or selling, so let me adjust these foot pedals real quick. There you go. I see you've already used it. Alright, I'm gonna let you is there your steering's up there, right? Alright. Yeah, I've always wanted to take a ride in one of these. It's effing awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Look at him go! Wow! All right. It's like in the back of it. It's like it's like almost level with the water. That looks fun. Yeah, this is awesome. And then from this point on, you just enjoy. And then what's nice about this is it has a really nice uh, low wind speed, so it's still going to go up wind in about eight knots, and it's still going to cruise along fairly nicely. How tall is that cell, you know? Uh, 16 feet maybe? 16? Something like that. Somewhere around there. Yeah, when you got a nice sea breeze like we usually have, 8 to 10, 12 knots, you're pretty much always on the beat. You have a decent amount of power, and on a high wind day, when we're talking 15, 20 knots, this thing is a blast. So what comes with the with the island? Everything you see. Everything I see. Paddles, two hobby paddles. Okay. The seats, the drive, the sail, of course, and yeah, everything you need to That's get going. It. Okay. The only thing you're gonna need is a way to transport it if you don't live on the water. So you're gonna need a trailer or a truck. The nets that go across. Trampolines. trampolines yeah, trampolines. Uh, yep, yeah, you're gonna want those. If you got kids, want to take the kids with you and that sort of stuff, or use it for storage. Now when the wind gets really high, I mean, does this thing go on the side like some of these sail, these sailboats where you see it go on the side? Next we get this guy fully submerged in about 15, 20 knots and this guy's bending over again and splash it's a ton of fun. Okay. But <laughs> if, it's, if it's getting a bit too high, right, you're on that verge, you're like, Ugh, I'm, I'm kind of on the verge of losing control. Uh -huh. You can reel this in. So this is completely adjustable. You can reel this in a bit if you wanted to and, you know, reduce your surface area of the sail thus reducing your power. And if you know anything about sailing, doing a tack is when you're usually going to lose all your power unless you do a downwind tack. What we just did is an upwind tack. You use the drives, and that's basically cheating because usually upwind tacks are fairly difficult, but no problem. Yeah, I love that. Because you have the mirage drives too, so even you still have power. Yeah, and that's all. <laughs> that is awesome. This has got a really nice sharp nose, and it's longer than the Oasis nose. Mm -hmm. And this is 17 feet, if I remember correctly. And so it's gonna be, it really is going to be one of the very quick kayak. Last year, well. Hmm? Definitely choosing the best oh, day yeah. to do it. If you were here last year. Yeah, I was here last year. Yeah, last year would have been a if you remember last year. Uh huh. It was. That, Couldn't yeah. take any of the, the paddle boards out. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody would have just gotten blown away. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this would have, last year was the perfect day for this because you could really show 
what it's capable of. Mm -hmm. It's how much fun it is. Hey. You see what that was? To be honest, I love the fish out of this thing too, offshore. Fish, fish species. I know tuna, I know cod, I know all the animal ones. Yeah, it. it would be awesome fishing out of this. Oh yeah, very stable. Extremely stable. There's a lot of guys that do that in the Keys enjoyed it all right i did i appreciate you taking me out on it so you got the steering front and back and then that's yep. for the uh what's that the look the, the bar there the handle this one yeah this for the skeg. oh it's skeg okay yeah so it's right. drop down retractable all right basically have an instant shallow motor on this thing just like all the other hookers sweet so pull the rudder up pull this guy out go over the beach just like any other one Not, and these fold in yes. uh pretty easy just so it's as simple as this. Pop that guy, oh, okay. Bring it in. And that's it. Just that bar. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That bar's sitting back in. Same sort of deal. Just pops right in. Pops right back in. Okay. There's a little ball or something that just kind of. Yep. So it's got this little ball there, and then just this guy just grabs onto it. So okay. All right. That is so sweet. Disassembly, taking the sail off. Amazakas. You know, ten minutes. And putting it back together, same That's awesome. All right, thank you for your time, okay? All right. All right, so this by far was my favorite kayak on the day of the demo day. And uh, if you ever get a chance to demo one of these or to rent one, I highly suggest it. Uh, they're a lot of fun, and I'm actually seriously considering purchasing one. Uh, I loved it that much, so. Uh, I just want to briefly cover the specs again. I know I had some pop-ups during the video. Uh, the colors currently that you can purchase this kayak in, you can't get it in papaya this year. Uh, you can only get them in ivory dune and red hibiscus. The specs again, uh, the length is 18 feet 6 inches for the length. Uh, the width with the Amos in, that's those uh, pods on either side of the, uh, the kayak. When they're in, it's 4 feet uh, and when they're out, it's 10 feet is the width. Uh, the weight of the kayak is 198 pounds with a capacity of 600 pounds. All right, once again, I would like to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. Uh, and also to be notified of uh, the other demos that I did this day, go ahead and uh, click that bell. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, I would like to thank Sandy Point Progressive Sports for putting on this annual event. And until next time.